Hey guys, welcome back. Happy New Year. It's 2021, January 7th, I think, and welcome to Ratios. We're going to be doing uh, 5-1 practice and problem solving over uh, ratios and understanding ratios on Envision 2.0. 5-1 practice and problem solving. I picked eight problems here for us to do. Let's go ahead and get started. A person's blood type is denoted with the letters A, B, and O. And the symbols uh, positive and negative. The blood type A positive is read as A positive. I was about ready to say A plus, like an A plus grade. The blood type B negative is read B negative. Use the data to write the ratio and the comparison in three different ways. So we can write the ratios in three different ways using a uh, a colon, which is two dots, the word two, and then a ratio is also as a fraction. Okay. So we have to click right here. So A positive and B positive. So what I'm doing, I'm looking here, finding A positive, which in my case is 95. I know it's different for you, over 22. So I'm going to write that here. So the ratio is 95 to 22. Now, could you put 22 to 95? No, because they want a positive first. So that has to come first in the ratio. Okay, that's that's an important distinction for you. So that's one way to write it with the word two. Another way is with a colon. So 95 to 22 there. And then as a fraction as well. The way they get you is they'll have you reduce it, and then that will um, mess some students up. Not you, because you know to reduce it, if it says to reduce it. So we're going to do another one, AB minus to B positive, 3 to 21. 3 to 21 can be reduced, but they don't specify it. I'm hitting um, tab to go to my next box. That's a shortcut. Um, for here, I'm hitting backslash 3 to 21. Now, you could also write 1 to 7. So 1 to 7 would also be a ratio. If there was like A, B, C, or D, they'd have 1 to 7 as one of the choices, and that might be the correct answer if they wanted in lowest terms. Okay, so we're doing the same thing here, A, B minus to A, B positive, or A, B negative, I'm sorry. That's 1 to 5. 1 to 5. Anyone know what uh, 1 over 5 equals as a decimal? It equals 0.2. So you can also write decimals as, or I'm sorry, you can also write ratios as a decimal. That one would be 0.2, 1 divided by 5. Okay, so now they're saying, what does which comparison does the ratio 83 over 46 represent? So that is a ratio of what blood type to what blood type. So let's look, 83 to 46. Oh, I see 46, so that's A positive. And then 83 is O positive. So O positive to A positive. All right, in Joe's fish tank, shout out to Joe and Dan, there are eight goldfish and 15 snails. How does the ratio 15 to 23 describe Joe's fish tank? So how does the ratio 15 to 23 describe his fish tank? There are eight goldfish and 15 snails. Oh, so what is eight plus 15? This is a part to a whole, so it's describing snails, you see 15 snails, to the total. So 15 to 23 describes goldfish to snails. No, that would be 8 to 15. Snails to the total. Yeah, that's what it does. Oh, skipped one. 
Darren used blocks to model the following situation. How can Darren use this model to find the number of fishing boats the dealer sells if it sells 24 speed boats? So this is a block model, really, uh, really cool stuff here on this block model. A boat dealer sells four speed boats for every three fishing boats it sells. So what you do here is, um, I'm gonna finally write something. So what's happening here on this block ratio model is you know uh, speed boats is right here. So this is 24, and there's four of them. And this is the speed boats, speed boats all right. And this is, these are fishing boats here. All right, so 24 has to be divided equally among these four blocks. So each block is worth what, guys? That's right, each block is worth six because I did 24 divided by six. All right, now that means these blocks here are also worth six, okay? So um, to answer this question here, we have the model can be used to, since the dealer sold 24 speedboats, each block represents six speedboats or fishing boats. The dealer sells um, six plus six plus six, or six times three is 18 fishing boats, okay? Now, the way I would do this one, now that's a block model, that's like the new math. Um, the way I would do this is I would go um, uh, speed, speed boats to fishing boats equals four speed boats per every three fishing boats, which equals, and then they give you one of them. So this is the, this is the known ratio, four to three. And the, the one they give you is 24 speed boats. And now you find a relationship. So four times six is 24. So three times six is 18. Now that's how I do it. That's proportional reasoning, but that is how you do the model. There's also a double line diagram, which is, which is pretty cool too. I think uh, this way is the most this way is the most efficient way to do it, but the model's still uh, pretty useful to think about. The ratio of the adult cats to kittens at a pet care center on Saturday was four to three. There were twenty seven kittens there that day. Monday, thirty eight cats were at the pet care center. What is the difference? So, so here's a key here, guys. What is the difference between the number of adult cats at the pet care center on Monday and Saturday? So we're gonna set up a proportion, guys. And the proportion is cats to kittens. Cats to kittens, and it looks like this. All right, so cats to kittens is four to three. So we have four to three and there are 27 kittens so 27 goes with the kittens see kittens right here so 27 goes right here now we have to figure out how many cats so find a relationship three times nine is 27 so you have to go four times nine here and you get 36 now there were 36 cats on um saturday on Saturday and they want to know the difference between adult cats on Monday and Saturday so the other day was 38 Monday was 38 so we have to do the difference so you have to do the difference is subtracting 38 minus 36 will equal 2 so that difference part that's what really causes some issues. And this was the first time we set up a proportion. So I hope that helped. Of the students taking gym class, five students take cricket for every four students who take golf. So that right there, guys, that is the known ratio. That's the known. This is representing the diagram. Explain how you can use the diagram to find the number of students who are taking golf if there are 30 students taking cricket. So five students for every four taking golf, five to four is equal to um, 30 to something would be the proportion. But let's see what diagram they have. So they're doing this type of diagram here. 
And with this, cricket, uh, you can see five crickets for every four goths. Now, they give you the known ratio. The known ratio is, um, is five to four. That's the known ratio. And then they'll give you one of them, th so 30. So they say cricket is 30. Now, how do you divide 30 up among these five blocks? What do you think? Well, you go 30 divided by 5. So that means each block is represented by 6. So each block here is 6. All right, so since each block is 6, uh, we'll know that Goff is represented by 4 groups of 6. 4 groups of 6 is 24. So first, we have to do 30, divide 30 by 5. To, and to get six, then write six in each box and use multiplication because we had to do six times four to find that there are 24 students taking golf. So the block model is really, really a good, a, a good model. Again, not the way I use, I mean, your, I don't think your parents do that either. It's because kind of the new math thing, but the way I do it, I'm not knocking it or anything. The way I do it is uh, I go crickets, cricket, students who do cricket to students who do golf. And then I, I set up a proportion. I always like to label it cricket to golf. So I know where things are. So you're given a known ratio. The known ratio is five to four. And then You'll get, you're given just one of these, so 30 students there, okay? And then you got to find the missing one right there. So uh, one thing you could do, you could cross multiply four times 30 and then divide by five. That's that's a way to do it if you can't find a relationship right off the bat. So five times um, six is 30. In our case, these work out beautifully. Sometimes you have to reduce. Sometimes you have to reduce this to lowest terms and then do this. By the way. And four times six is uh, 24. So, I mean, that's how I do it. It's probably how, um, that's probably eventually the most, I think, efficient way to do it. You could also do it in your head. Like, um, can you see where I'm pointing? Okay, see, see right here. Five, cricket, cricket. So five times six is 30. So four times six is 24. That's the way to do it real quick. That's how I do it real quick. I can just look at them and do it. But then again, I've been in sixth grade for a long time, like 16 years.